My name is Avalon Penrose, and I'm from California, but I, I live in Hawaii. I just got in yesterday. So you have flown all the way in to do our show? Yeah. Well, thank you. It's a long trip. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And, and what is your skill? I will be singing classical music. Are you a soprano? Mezzo? A mezzo. Oh, my yeah. God, I love it. Bit of culture. Mm -hmm. Bit of class. Bit of decorum. What is your big dream? My big dream would be to perform at opera houses around the world, like the Sydney Opera House. I'm going to explode. It's all yours. Dazzle me, darling. Avalon, do you have a second song? Yeah, because lots of people find opera too highbrow, yeah. pretentious or boring, and you've made it funny. You murdered Carmen, darling. A delicious mess. But overall, great show. Thank you. I have to give you a yes. <laughs> it's nuts, but it's a yes from me. I'm saying yes. Yeah, it's a delicious mess, and it's a yes for me. My name is Greg. And uh, what do you do, uh, Greg, uh, for a living? Well, I'm retired now, but before I worked in construction for a long time, but mm -hmm. I've always had a passion for the big stage here. So what you're going to do tonight is a passion project. It is. How long have you been doing what it is you do? You know, it's been a lifetime in preparation, a few moments of inspiration, and tonight will be the culmination. Is this something you think could win the whole competition? I believe it can, yes. I think this is going to be dangerous. OK. Let's see what you do. Good luck. He looks nervous. Is it going to be dangerous for us right here? Oh, no. What's in there? I'm kind of scared. I wonder what he's going to do. thing we've seen so far in America's Got Talent. You know what? I'm going home. Good night. I've had it. Good night, everyone. He's actually leaving. You want to vote? I no. Didn't... What, do you want to vote? No. No. Really annoying. No. <laughs> you jump in it, Nick! Jump! Nick! 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 No!
on me. Oh, I got some on me. Good night, everybody! <laughs> my mouth! In my mouth! You got, come on, guys! In my mouth! It's a good night. That's how we do, baby. Oh. ADT! This is not why I came back to America. <laughs> Hello. We know who you are. Nothing. Blobby. Nothing. Blobby. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Blobby, Blobby! All right, whatever. Right, why are you here? No. It's the Blobby Magic Show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, right, no more questions. Good luck. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Sonic! Oh, God! He's OK. Oh. Mr. Blobby's going to our hospital. <laughs> Whoa. No, 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 no. No, yes, no, take no, no. pick a card, he's saying. Any card? OK, I'll take that one. Yeah. Yes? A blob? Look ah. at it, yes. Ace! A spade! No! Oh. Is that the spade? Oh! Oh, oh. oh. Hello! Hello! Nice to meet you. Me? Just awful. I don't know who Mr. Blobby is. He is... TV royalty. TV royalty. <laughs> what would you like me to do? <laughs> yes! Get him in there, Blobby! Disappear in box. Can you go in there? <laughs> me. Oh, Hi, Simon. Love you. Hi, darling. Love you. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now let's all just sneak out. <laughs> yeah, let's go home.
Be careful, it's slippy. Oh, oh my God. Did you know this is going to happen? Oh my God, no! Thank you very much. I mean, Travis, what'd you think? <laughs> Travis? I, you know, I... I it's the, you, you came on the wrong show. <laughs> Simon, what'd you think? I just, there's nothing else to add. Thank you so much. That wasn't a compliment. You know, I wouldn't have hit an X if you girls could have done it like me. And in, in fact,
someone passing the ball. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> about getting us covered in crap. Man, leather never felt so good. Thank you very much. Okay, you girls do know that. Now we do have to vote. Travis, yes or no? That was entertaining, but it, it's a no. And it's a no for us. But maybe next time, let's make the wrestling more extreme. How tall are you? I'm 7'6". Seven, 7'6". Wow. Seven, six. Great to meet you. What's your name? My name is Karamjit. And this is? My name is Kavaljit. My name is Jagdeep. We are from India. Great. Veer Khalsa Group. OK. Ah. OK, and how did you meet? Uh, he came to me <laughs> and asked that he need a manager for his group. I said, why not? Oh, he wears the pants in this group. Yes. I get it. I get it. He's a policeman, the tallest policeman in the world. He met him on the road. Hang on, what do you mean on a road? On the road. So what were you doing? One day he was walking on the road. He met him while he Literally was performing his duty. Road. Okay, that's yeah. what Literally I was trying to road. find out. Okay, well, I don't think we should ask any more questions. I can see coconuts and melons. <laughs> That's enough for me. Thank you. Listen, I don't know what they're about to do, but please do not try whatever you see at home.
I'm Freddy. I'm 35 years old and I'm from Sweden. Lovely. Oh. So, Freddy, why Britain's got talent? This stage, it needs a proper science show. Oh. So, you're going to make science interesting? I hope so. I hope so. Do you think you can win the show, Freddie? I, I would say that the British people want more science show, and I'm here to Do bring them. Do we want more science shows? Not really. Go for it, Freddie. So, I'm Anna Holden. You have to be my science lab assistant. Well, come up. So, we first need to get you properly dressed. You can never be too careful. That's perfect. It's inside out. No, it's cheap. <laughs> Ah, this will look good on you. <laughs> None of these guys are wearing them, though. No, they're dispensable. Anything happens to you guys, doesn't matter. Yeah. So, are you ready for some science? Yes. So, we will first start over here. Do you know how clouds are formed? Well, it's to do with evaporation. <laughs> oh, Simon, it's oh. true! <laughs> OK, so we will make a cloud here at Palladium. So, you will take this bucket, like this. Yes. And we're going to put it in the liquid nitrogen. One, two, three, go! Wow! Oh, Ooh, that's cool, up my legs, that. And now we're going to do something called elephant's toothpaste. Yeah, we all know elephant's toothpaste, don't we? Yeah. This is hydrogen peroxide, the oxygen molecule. <laughs> and here we have potassium iodide. Put it in, all in one. Liquid nitrogen expands 700 times when it goes from liquid to gas again. We're going in. So, 2,000 ping pong balls. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Oh, what's he going on? That's a shame for him. The final one hasn't worked. <laughs> It did work, guys! It's what put the rug on. Thank you. Well done. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Oh, I love your confidence. I'm saying yay. I love the, the madness of it all. It's a very good idea. Oh, it's a yes. I think this has got potential to be very entertaining. I'm saying yes. Simon, what did you think? I think we can make you interesting, Freddie. In my head, I can imagine dancing scientists. <laughs> so I'm going to say yes. Yes! Good evening. Welcome. What is your name? My name is Mohamed Karimanovic. I come from nice city, Hamburg, Germany. And how old are you, please? Oh, I'm not young. <laughs> I'm Ua Opa. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. What do you do for a living? Ich bin seit zwei Jahren Rentner. I'm retired. Okay, so then how did you get into breaking coconuts? <laughs> I make martial arts over 50 years. How many nuts did you bring with you today? I think over 170. That's a lot of coconuts. Okay, we have an adjudicator. I am standing here with Michael from Guinness World Records. Hi, everyone. So this is an official Guinness World Records attempt for most coconuts broken in one minute, and they have to be split in at least two pieces. Of course. Oh, wow. Now a reminder, Mohammed is the current Guinness World Records title holder with 148 coconuts. So he's attempting to break his own record today. Well, good luck to you. The stage is yours. All right, we're gonna do a countdown. He looks so fragile. How is he gonna do this in one minute? Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, two one, one, go! go! Second 
seconds remaining. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Thirty seconds to make. Thirty seconds. I'm at thirty. Twenty seconds to make. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Ten. Five. Four. Adjudicator has made his final count, sir. The mark to beat was 148. And today, Muhammad, you had... Oh, my God! 23. No! They were not quite right. <laughs> uh, it's a no. Oh, no problem. Give it up for the effort for Muhammad. If you like King, Thank you. Hi, Simon. How are you? Nice to see you. OK, what's your name? My name is Haralambos, but it's short for Bambus. Where are you from, Greece? I'm a Greek Cypriot from oh, no. Cyprus. <laughs> and uh, I've lived all my life in Cheltenham. And what's your full-time job? I, well, I've got ice cream van. So what's that called again? This, well, it's called a bazooki. Bazooki, oh, that's bazooki. right. Well, listen, we have the best again. audience tonight. Good luck. Yeah? OK. Here we go. Come, Bambas. Oh, Bambas! There's one for free. Please say we get a plate. Do we get a plate? Yes. Yes! Thank you. Um, Excellent. Where are we allowed to smash it? Over there, when I'm playing. You oh, throw it over there. Brilliant. Yeah. quite know what happened. You know how to make things work. It was great, it was fun, it was stupid, but I loved it. Oompa! 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 Let's vote. David? I'm going to say yes! Thank you. Thank you, David. 
Fiji tea is best. Yes. Can you still buy love? Absolutely yes from me. I bloody loved it. Bambus, you got four enormous yeses. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. This doesn't look very scary. <laughs> Jump in the strawberries? I'm not hungry. You guys okay? <sighs> oh, he's still eating! I mean, when you said extreme eating, I thought it would be something impressive. I don't know, I thought maybe you were gonna eat all the food I saw out there, but you're just swimming in it. <laughs> so I had to give you a big ass. I genuinely thought something was gonna happen, and then nothing. I think you ate one hot dog. And I mean, the cheese is just on your face. I would say next time, just eat a little bit more. Or maybe light it on fire. Understood. My name is Mr. Cherry. My name is Tiki. Very nice to meet Hi. you. And what are you going to do today? I'm here I'm here to smash the world record. Tonight, we will break the most walnuts on his butt. Oh. Right. And what is the world record at the moment? The current record for the walnuts is 71 in 30 seconds. Well, that sounds difficult. OK, well, look, I, I'm, I think we're all really, really excited. We love world record attempts. OK, Teddy, good to Teddy there. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, look. Apparently, the world record's 71, but we only have 63 walnuts on there. So someone's got to buy some walnuts. Oh, <laughs> we have a nut, nut shortage. There's Does anybody nut shortage. here have any walnuts? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. There's a guy counting the nuts. <laughs> Anyone? Yes. Do you have any walnuts? Simon. They got enough? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they've got a whole bag. They have a whole bag. I mean, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> Imagine. Let me, while they do this, let me just pull up some nut jokes. Why did the squirrel do the backstroke? Why? He wanted to keep his nuts dry. <laughs> okay. Good, Heidi. Yeah. That's good. We'll get another Great. one. Next one. What did the nut chasing the other nut say? What? I'm a cashew. Is that a joke? Yeah. Yes. How's that a joke? Cashew. I, I'm a cashew. Yeah. These are supposed to be the funniest nut jokes. Shall we stop with the nut jokes? 
<laughs> all right, all right. Just so everyone understands, okay, there are 80 walnuts out here. He needs to crush 72 to get the world record. Are you ready? No, 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 no! <laughs> okay! <laughs> All right, we have 30 seconds on the clock. Wow, how colorful he is. Three, two, one, go! Crack a nut with your butt and try it. Uh, can I? Yeah, yeah. There's one left. Come on, son. You can do this, Sophia. I mean, is it? It's a real walnut. It's a real walnut. Be careful, Sophia. Which is your stronger butt? My strong butt? Which, is, which side is your strong butt? <laughs> I don't know, I've never, I've never thought about that. Yeah. Yes, yes. You gotta, you gotta tighten them up. You gotta really go, yeah! Yo! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, it didn't work. What, did it hurt? Does yeah. it hurt? It, it really hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry I suggested that. That's oh my god. Good. It's impossible. What is the name of your group? Fontane Umane. Ah, oh. where are you guys from? We are from Denver, Colorado. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you going to be doing for us today? My Heart Will Go On by Il Divo. Okay. Whoa. Well, good luck, guys. Thank you.
has got talent. There is nowhere in the whole entire world you would see this apart from on this stage. Let Thank me you. tell you. Thank you. Well, let me correct you. Have you ever been to the Bellagio? Hello. <laughs> Original, it was funny. What? Simon doesn't get it at all. No. It was absolutely brilliant. Oh, no, it wasn't. And it made me have a proper belly laugh. You guys are funny. I love you guys. I love you guys. Can I be honest with you guys? I don't know what you lot have been drinking, but I just Water. saw don't more you guys that. spitting on each other. And you get a standing ovation. It was yes, awful. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Heidi, what is your problem? It's amazing. Yes. It wasn't amazing. It was just stupid. <laughs> and no, I'm it was kick not. This off. <laughs> Shut up. It's a no. <laughs> from me. You need three yeses. I'm the third! Oh, Give it up with her! I was told this season was going to be gluten-free. <laughs> you are now looking at a mountain of 60 pounds of cake, 22 pounds of icing, and 184,200 calories. And I am going to eat my way free. You are kidding. You're gonna eat that cake. I can help you. I love that you're still eating. I am a world-ranked competitive eater. What are you ranked in the world? I'm currently number 47 in the world. Wow! <laughs> anyway, let's vote. It's going to be a no for me. Heidi? It's a no for me. Sophia? That would be like the last thing I want to do before I'm gone. <laughs> uh, but I'm sorry, it's a no. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. Hello. Okay, so who are you? Uh, my name is Nick Juhas. I am 32 years old, and I make science videos for the internet. Okay, so why did you enter the show this year? I love science, and there's probably no big, bigger stage than this. And this is an act you think is worth a million dollars and can win the whole show? Oh, yeah. Because? Science is that cool. That's a little hard to believe. Okay, well, best of luck. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, in these two balloons, I have a gas that is very different than helium. When you take in helium, your voice goes higher. And so what do you think is going to happen? Goes lower. Well, I guess we're just going to have to find out. So, just like helium, you're going to really take it all in. Nightmare. <laughs> Talk. 
Manu? Oh mein Gott! Oh, that's amazing. Do you think that's bad for you? No, can't be. <lacht> Does not stop. We have more science experiments. Okay. But I need two more people. I'll volunteer. Okay, let's roll. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. This is the table of science. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to put you on goggles. We have a lab coat. So you put them on. How confused can you be? So this is 35% hydrogen peroxide. It's very dangerous stuff. Okay. What is in this little container right here is called potassium iodide. It is a catalyst. Right. A catalyst makes the reaction go faster. Great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these two together and we're gonna make a reaction go really fast. I want you to do it like a little closer down here. I don't want it to splash anywhere, right? And then so you have to run. We're gonna do it on three, two, one, what? four, 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 back up, back up. So we're gonna make our way over here. We got one more. Okay. And this is all you, buddy. We have uh, two things here. We have liquid nitrogen, which is negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very cold. We have boiling hot water over here. Put this on. That? Oh yeah, safety first. <laughs> You're gonna try to get all of that hot water into this trash can all in one swoop. Without dying. Without dying. <laughs> Okay. And then you're gonna back up run. as fast as you can. Oh my god. Stomp really? and run, Howie. Yeah. I think and you should count him down though. He needs to count Why down. Why is everybody going away? Howie, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Nervous. All right. On three. Three. Let's start with hello. Hello. I am uh, Viggo. I'm from uh, Norway, but I, I live in the UK now. Good. Norway is very boring. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your last name? Uh, Ven. Yeah, like the diagram. You know? Ven diagram, that's right. Viggo, why are you here? I, I'm here because uh, I want to become a British comedian. Okay, right, no more questions. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Simon's face is like this. <laughs> Look at Simon's face. <laughs> In Norway, that means you're doing really good. <laughs> Oh. Is there any more? Is there any more? Come on, please. A 
honestly. to such a level that was just, it was killing me. Oh, I thought you were gonna do stand-up comedy. Yeah, but it's a bit difficult with the language for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now, but it was really annoying, it was stupid, none of it was very good. Now, yes for me. Oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> Look, you know what? Um, I like the music, but it is what it is, which is... <laughs> the most stupid act we've had this year. <laughs> Britain's got talented. So I'm going to say yes. We've got through to the next round. I'm Amanda. This is Rosie, and this is Kathy. And so, where do you normally perform? All over the place. I've um, never done it before. Oh, oh. oh no, Sorry. we said we weren't going to do that. <laughs> we weren't going to say that. Basically, yesterday, one of our original dots actually. Um, walked out the creative differences um, but Kathy has stepped in last minute uh, hang on she's, hang she's on the don't don't just throw that away <laughs> what happened she's a bit bit difficult should we say should we say so you've never performed with them until today oh. no. <laughs> um yeah. I am intrigued what you're gonna do so I'm gonna let you take to the stage and go thank for you it. thank you
I knew, I knew that was part of the act. <laughs> I'm actually getting really stupid, aren't I? It was absolutely brilliant. Your timing was excellent. Your harmonies are actually very good. And, you know, in the end, I think you'll get there. So, <laughs> good luck. I love seeing things go wrong, and this is proper entertainment. Let me kick this off with an enormous yes. I'm saying yes. It's a yes from me. I knew all along it was a joke. <laughs> it's <laughs> four yeses. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. <laughs> so I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? <laughs> No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6%, is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> Yeah. In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard yeah. Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss please, on live TV. Please, please, please. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Are you you did it! Hives, oh. Howie. Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they ringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. 
this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, tries, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a Victoria. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always gotta tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you're alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. No, we need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just slay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> now, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'll be like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. I love it. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, not, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they <laughs> what they what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy up. sometimes, and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. 
our daughter Capri. <laughs> Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> there was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you worked on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> Password is magic.
Did okay. you just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. <laughs> that is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're <laughs> cheating <laughs> because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much.